This is Sineko, July 2022, General Mathematics Paper 2. And we are answering question number three. And the question reads, uh, in a class of 134 students, each of them studies at least one of the one of uh, economics, government, and geography. 40 students study economics, 55 study government, and 63 study geography. X students study all the three subjects. 2x study geography and economics only, 2x study economics and government only, and 2x study geography and government only. The three questions asked here, number Roman 1 says use the Venn diagram to illustrate the above information. Roman 2, you asked to find the value of x, and Roman 3 asked you how many students study economics only. So this is the three questions that we have to answer right now. So let's attempt to answer it together. So solution to this very problem, what you do first is to now have the set representing those study these different subjects. So if I now let my U to be the universal set, uh, which will now be the total number of those students in this very class, that is 134. And let E be set of those students that study economics. G be a set of those students that study government and P, be those students that study geography. So let me just draw my large rectangle to represent the universal set, that is the student in that very class, which is 134 in the number. So I'm now going to use the cycle to represent each of these three sets. So starting with the set E. Set E is for those students that study economics, so let me just use the this set. And there are 40 in number, it is stated in the question. So this cycle, everything inside this cycle now will now be those students that study economics. So I'm going to draw the second set. Also, I'll use the cycle to represent those students study government. So I'll try in drawing the second set to overlap with the very first one. This is the second set. So the number of students that study government will now be 55 given in the question, 55 study government. So I'm now going to draw the third set, the cycle representing the third set. Also, I'll draw it so that it will overlap these two, two other cycles. This will now be for those that study geography. So drawing that cycle like this, number of students studying geography will now be 63. It's given in the question, 63 study geography. So these are the three cycles. So you now also feed in those information. X study all the three subjects. All the three subjects will now be this very region. Region belonging to all the three cycles. So this should now be X. Look at it. I now write X here to represent the number of students studying all the three subjects because this very place is inside all the three cycles. So I continue. So next is to now have this the two X that is steady study geography and economics look at the place now now write it here look at it a 2x 2x is now those that study economics and geography only is given in the question next is the 2x that represent the number of students that is studying economics and the government and the last 2x again representing uh, government and geography only so next, you now find the expression for those that are studying economics only, for those that are studying government only, and you now also find the expression for those that are studying geography only. So to find this expression, those for economics only, what you need to do from their total, which is 40, you now subtract 2x, subtract this x, subtract another 2x. So in, in short, you are subtracting 5x from 40. That will give you expression for those that are studying economics only. Similarly, if you have to find the expression, correct expression for those that study government only, will now be from this 55 total, remove 2x, remove x, remove this 2x. So in short, from 55, you are now subtracting 5x. Five, five the same you did here from 63. So remove 2x, remove x, remove this 2x. That will give answer. 63 minus 5x. So with this, your Venn diagram is complete. You 
you have now all the seven regions you don't have anything outside the three cycles but inside this rectangle because the question says uh, each of them study at least uh, one of those three subjects so all this 134 student each and every one of them must be studying at least one of those three subjects so nobody outside the cycles so with this i have answered the question number roman one so roman two asks to find the value of x to find this value of x you now add everything inside this uh, rectangle and you equate it with 134 because this is the total number of students in the class. So my 134 would now be equals to the addition of 40 minus 5x plus 2x plus 55 minus 2x minus 5x plus 2x plus 63. Everything inside there added together will now be equals to 134, the total number of students in that very class. So you're going to have 40 minus 5x, which is this region, plus the 2x, which is this 2x like that after this last x inside so when you now simplify this very expression collecting like terms 40 plus 55 plus 63 that will give result 158 and collecting those terms in x you now have minus 8x if you do it correctly so collecting like terms for the minus 8x shifted to the left and 134 shifted to the right that will give result 8x equals to 24. so dividing both sides by coefficient of x which is 8 that will give x r 30. so this answered the roman 2 question so i continue answer the last question the last question asked how many students study economics only economics only is represented by this expression 40 minus 5x so economics only would now be equals to 40 minus 5x i have x here as a 3 in roman 2 so substituting x by 3 in this expression you now have 40 minus 5 times 3 and 5 times 3 gives you 15 when you subtract 15 from 40 that give answer 25 so it is 25 students that study economics only and this answered all the three questions so let me just share with you the market distribution for this very question as it is contained in the market scheme so the very first mark is this b3 max that is bonus 3 max for writing or for drawing this venn diagram correctly with all the seven entries there accurately written you have this bonus 3 max if anyone is wrong it is now going to be minus half a mark so the next mark is this method one mark and this method one mark is for now writing the correct equation representing the total number of students in that very class uh, you have this method one mark and attempting it to solve this very equation correctly up to this level you have this method one mark and when you now have the value of x as a three that gives you this accuracy one mark so the next mark is another method one mark and this method one mark is for now uh, substituting the value of x in the expression that gives you number of those students that study economics only that substitution correctly gives you this method one mark and when you now have uh, 25 as the number of students that study economics only as the 25 that gives you this accuracy one mark so in total this question number three has eight good marks